Afternoon all, I'm just here today to show you how to repair a fishing net, any type of nylon netting, but in this case I'm repairing one of my ferret and long nets. A bunny got caught in it and that's done a bit, has chewed up a few of the meshes so I'm going to repair it. That's a bit of a mess so like this in the first section so I'm going to repair that, that won't take long. Well I've tied the first five yards a long net across my lounge as you do and you see there the old bunnies chewed for the top line but i'll repair that at a later date you see there's a good old there and another good old there so that's what we need repairing oh look and there's another hole there so that's what we'll need repairing i'm gonna have to cut out the damage first and then just Repair the meshes, ever so easy to do. The hardest thing nowadays about repairing any of these long nets or any sort of nylon netting is getting the twine. Because obviously that's all linked to the fishing industry and there's so little repaired anymore, they don't bother importing it in the country because a lot of the fishing net suppliers, to get any twine, they've got to import about half a tonne at a time because all part of classes textiles on the import duty and all that sort of thing, so it's very hard to get. Well, luckily I bought one of the last few spills, a nylon twine from Advanced Netting. Well, if you look on there, that's 210 denier over 18. So that is actually 6Z, because a lot of twine is done in denier. Well, 210 over 18, work out 6Z. So I've got, I've got one got 500 gram spool of it. So that should be enough to last me out. All right, nylon twine like this, isn't the best to repair it with because that's a twisted nylon you're better off getting spun nylon but I can't get it anymore that's virtually impossible to buy spun nylon in this country but this is just twisted nylon or stretchy you know not nowhere near as well as spun nylon was a little bit fluffy well in reality just some few holes, not a lot to do. So only just got a couple of small net needles. I don't need to fill massive needles. There's only I've got some bigger needles here, but I don't need to fill these up. I need a couple of small needles because there's only a lot of twine just in them few little holes. So the first thing I'll do is I'll get the end of the twine. Put your thumb on it. Go over the tongue round the back over it again round the back and just carry on like that there isn't a lot of twine needed do you think there's like a couple inches that way and a couple inches that way and I'll get the reel and put it on the floor end on so as I'm taking it off that'll just spin upwards off the spool we just carry on filling the needle up. There's probably enough on this needle to do all the repairs. Ain't a lot need doing. So professional net rigs and that sort of thing, they spin these up quickly, but that's all you gotta do. Basically just go round and round. net needle I think that'll be more than enough for what I want so I'll just cut that through so now I'm ready to go easy peasy well I'll start on one of the simple holes first you see here that's only one bar what's been damaged so I just need cutting out each section like that is called a bar and that's a full mesh it's a bar full mesh so I'll just trim these two bits off and then I'll repair it well you can now see I've cut that bar out and now I'll repair it all these knots are a sheet bend so everything's easy to do 
See, look, if I get that, put the twine through. See that through the mesh? I'll leave about three quarters of an inch hanging there. And all I'll do is go around it and back through that loop. See that? And then I'll pull it tight. But because this is nylon, I'll do two. I'll do another one as well. Let's go two and I'll pull it tight. So now it's tied in. And then where the damage is, that bar, I'll go across there and go through the back. That mesh. You see? That's the bar. And it's tight. And I'll pull this end until that comes square. See that, that's square. So that, that's square and then two knots line up. That mean that bar is the right length. So what I'll do is go to the mesh below, go through. See that, another sheet bend. And I'll pull it up tight. And I'll go another one behind it and pull it up tight. So now, You've got your full mesh. I'll just cut that away. See that I'll trim the edges, but I left them half inch long. If you cut them too short, they'd be spiky and they'll catch up. But if you leave them half inch, they're right. So you look at that now, that's all repaired. Lovely. I'll then move on next to my, the main hole. Well, if you look at this damage here, you look here, that bar is snapped between that knot and that knot. And that bar is damaged between that knot and that knot. Well, the way to repair this is put double sheet bend there, go a loop round and put another sheet bend there, and then go from the bottom sheet bend there to that mesh and then back down again. So basically I'll cut that one away, that one away, that one away, and that one away. You see, I cut them all away, and that now looked worse than before I started. But I'll soon repair it. I'll start on the left ear. You pull the pull the twine through. And I'll go round and come through itself, and pull that tight. See that? And I'll do exactly the same thing again. Go round the back, go through the loop, the sheet bend. Oh, I've got caught on that tag in to get rid of that. So go to that and we'll pull that tight. Just now tight. What we want to do now is then tie it to that one to make that loop. But obviously to do that, you gotta get the you put hold both them knots together and you'll get the perfect length. So obviously you want the bar length the right size. See there? That's about right. So we'll get them about right. Nip that. Go round and through. Pull that tight and round and through again. See that? Just pull it tight. And just trim it away. So we've got that mesh in there. So I'll tie it to there, back to there, and back to there again. So I'll go through there. Pull it up to the knot, half it, half inch. That go right in there. Let's 
So all I've got to do now is tie there, back up to there and back down again. So I'll go through that mesh. Don't mind if I leave a bit of a tag end. Go round it. Then go through. So there's another sheet bend. Pull that tight. And go round it and through. Another sheet bend. And now I'll go through the base. This knot. That's it now. We're tight. Basically a square. Like that. So I'll get that roughly square. I'll nip it there. And I'll go round the knot. See, see the same knot there? Pull that tight. And I'll go round again. The same sheet bend. Pull that tight. So that's that bar done. And now I'll go to this bar, go through. Look on the meshes, I want them to be all the same. If you look there, nothing too far away. So I'll get that mesh at the bottom there. Go round and through, so you see the sheet bend. And go round and through again. And I'll just trim it away. I'll get a pair of scissors and trim them up. But you see, that one's a little bit on the slack side, but it's very hard to do this in front of the camera and get it right. I'll now trim them ends all down to make them nice and neat. Well, this is the last hole to do. You see, that's all tatty. That's all tatty. So I'm going to cut the hole out to make a nice clean hole. All the cuts, a half inch from the knot. You see that now? That's a nice clean hole. No scraggly bits. You can start off fresh. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is make that mesh. So you go through half inch from the thing, go around the back and through. So you've got your sheet bend there, that was so basic. And pull that tight and go round the back. See that round the back and through the hole. And that's that done. Now I'm gonna go through the mesh next to it. Go back to the next knot and pull that roughly to make the mesh up. So it's roughly there. I'm just going to nip that so it doesn't move and go round the back and through the hole. Pull that tight and round the back and through the hole and pull that tight. Obviously, I'm going to. Just cut that off. So now you got your first. Now you got your first mesh. So then now want to go between that one. Loop up, loop up. Up 
Well done. We'll go from there, up, down, up. So go through there. Round the back, through the loop. Round again, round the back, through the loop. So that's tight. And now I'll go through that top mesh I made. I'll pull it gently until them two knots side by side so you know roughly it's the right length once i do that i'll nip that there go around the back through the hole pull that tight and go around the back through the hole and pull that tight so now we've got that mesh and that mesh so now you've got to go around there and up to that mesh so I'll go through there. Roughly sort of the mesh size using that not next to it. See that? It's roughly there. I'll nip it. And I'll go round the back and through. Pull that tight. And round the back and through and pull that tight. So I made that mesh. I'll just trim it. So now all I've got to do is go from there, up there, and down again. So I'll go through there, pull it, leave them half inch, go round like that back and through pull tight and go round back and through it's got me a Michigan and pull tight and I can go back and go through the top mesh it's roughly there get them parallel nip it and go right through down and then go round through that one like that down pull that tight now all I've got to go through is through that bottom one make that into a diamond so them two knots are them two knots are parallel get it roughly there nip it and go round through Pull that tight and go round and through again and pull that tight. Now just cut it off. I'll trim the ends in a minute. But that's lovely, isn't it? It's not perfect because it's hard to do it in front of a tripod, but that's pretty good. I'll now trim all the ends off and that's a repaired long net. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something and I'll catch you another time. See you later. Bye.